Hey guys, my name is Pira and I am from 28 Japanese Senior High School. Today I'm going to explain about identifying guesses and eyes. So let's check it out. Now for the candidates, I have made a table to identify the presence of all of these ions in the solution. Now to test all of them, you only need two reagents, which are sodium hydroxide and ammonia. Um, for example, for to test, uh, to test if there's any copper in your solution, when you test with sodium hydroxide, it will form a blue precipitation and it is insoluble. But if you test with ammonia, um, for a few drops only, it will become it will form a blue precipitation also. But if you keep adding it more and more until it's in excess, it will become soluble and give dark blue solution. And as you can see in this table, um, for the for both of both ions of iron, it will form a different color of precipitation, and both are insoluble. And also for this aluminium ions, and zinc and calcium and ammonia, and all of them are pretty much the same. Si means soluble in excess and PBT in precipitation. So that's all about cations. Let's move on to the end here. I also have made the table for identifying ions, but this time we only have five ions and they use different tests, different regions, and for different results, of course. For chlorine, uh, for chlorine and chloride, sorry, and iodine, we can use either silver nitrate or lead nitrate, and for the chloride, uh, for either silver or lead, well, it will form a white pre precipitation, and for the iodine, it will form a yellow precipitation. Now for the sulfate, nitrate, carbonate, the reagent is also different. For sulfate, you can test with barium. For nitrate, you can test with some sodium hydroxide and aluminum foil and people form bubbles which indicates aluminum produced. And for carbonate, you can test with acid, any acid, and it will form a become phase or effervescence and it will give you off um, carbon dioxide gas. So that's all about any let's move on to the gas. Uh, we have five gases which are carbon dioxide, hydrogen, uh, oxygen, chlorine gas, and ammonia. The test also uses different reagents which are like water, light spleen, glowing spleen, liquid paper, and red liquid paper. For carbon dioxide, if you test lime, you could use lime water to test the gas. And if you blow carbon dioxide to it, it will turn milky or cloudy. And for hydrogen, if you you can test with light spleen, which will pop, you know, pop means like um, a light spleen when it's blown by hydrogen, it will goes pop like that. And for for oxygen, you can test with glowing spleen, and will and it will the oxygen will reglow the spleen. And for the chlorine, you can test with litmus litmus paper. And, in, and it will turn it white, and for and the last thing is ammonia, which also is litmus paper, but this time we use the red one, and the result will be turned blue. So okay, so I have explained all of uh, all of the gases and ions, and now let's move on to the examples. Now you're ready for the examples. Now look at these tests, they are down to Y. Pay attention to every result the test makes. Can you guess what is Y? Yup, it's Saint Carbonate. Now that you understand our thoughts of life, thank you so much for watching. See you.